Phoebe Bilstein recommends that any diagnosis and maintenance is carried out by a fully trained vehicle technician. In this video, we will look at a common fault relating to the diesel particulate filter that affects several popular Ford models. The cause of the problem is regularly misdiagnosed, often resulting in perfectly serviceable parts being replaced, wasting both time and money. A DPF fault can be highlighted by either a DPF or engine management warning light appearing on the dashboard and a possible loss of vehicle performance. The first job is to check for fault codes logged and stored by the vehicle's ECU using a suitable diagnostic tool. A fault code common to this issue is P2002, particulate trap efficiency below threshold. Next, we need to check the live data coming from the DPF's differential pressure sensor. Here we can see the sensor is giving a pressure difference reading across the DPF of zero. Before condemning the sensor, we need to check that the wiring is OK and to test the sensor's operation. In this instance, we are using a handheld pump connected to the sensor to generate a pressure. The diagnostic tool confirms that the sensor is functioning correctly and giving a reading, so we can rule out a faulty pressure sensor. Next, we need to inspect the DPF for signs of damage, including the steel pipes and rubber hoses that connect to the pressure sensor. As you can see, the rubber hoses that connect the DPF pipes to the pressure sensor have degraded and become detached from the DPF, hence the incorrect data reading on the diagnostic tool. The repair in this case was simple. Remove the damaged pipes and fit the new ones. Once fitted, recheck the sensor's live data to make sure that you are now getting readings and then clear the old fault code. Road test the vehicle to ensure it now performs correctly and that no warning lights reappear.